Hello again, it's Lock Noob, and today we're just going to pick this cute little sentry lock. Don't know anything about it. Uh, it says it's made in England, so it's an English lock. Looks like it might have been part of a suite, looking at the code on here. Or, no, it hasn't got enough numbers for the key bitting. It is a one, two, three, four, five pin little cylinder, like a little mortar cylinder, and I think that it's been sort of wrenched out of something. This, this little actuator, this sort of thing at the back, yeah, um, don't know what that does, but clearly it's it's just been knocked. I might try and bend that back a bit later uh, before I put it back together. Okay, so let's throw out some advice, see what it takes to pick it, and then see if we can gut it. So here we are in the vise, and it's a trickier pick than you might expect. Um, whatever the reason, the shape of the keyway is just annoying and hard to tension in, just because it's got this kind of gap at the bottom, everything slips around. There's the key, let's pop that in works very nicely. Five pins, as we said. I'm going to put a little bit of um, metal at the bottom here just to sort of get over this step in the keyway, which is a bit frustrating, and then apply boss and keyway tension like this, then use sort of a, a short hook um, to go in and try to find the first binding pin, which I think is pin five. Um, make sure I've got some tension. I've got that, I think, so I'm just going to go back through. Um, pin one there, pin two, oh, and we're open. So that actually opened up quite fast. Other times it's been a bit inconsistent. It makes me think there might be some uh, tapered pins in here, which means that they are more likely to sort of hang up in the keyway sometimes. So let's uh, drop these out. I found picking this a little inconsistent is what I'm saying. Um, I don't really know why. Let's lock that back up. I've got the key, so it's going to be easier to use a follower if I do. There we go. And let's see what follower it would take. So I've got a standard size one. No, that's a little bit big. That's going to be one of those halfway size ones, isn't it? Okay. Mm. Um, what do I do about that? Well, I actually might have a solution for that, which is in this roll kit here. Uh, and in here are some tensioners, not tensioners, followers, which are made out of a selfie stick. And in here, we might be able to find one, which is a little bit bigger than normal, but a little bit smaller than the other one. Let's have a look. You know what? That's not too bad. I want to, let's try this ne the next size up just in case. No, that's a bit too tight. Okay, so I think we found the right ish one there. Okay, okay, okay. So let me get a shim because I still don't trust it. We've got space, so pop that in. Yeah, I'm really hoping, not hoping, but I'm. I'm I'd like to see tapered pins in here because that's what I felt I felt. Does that make sense? Let's have a look, go. So uh, follow that through. Okay, we didn't lose anything, so that's good. So these look pretty normal standard key pins. Two, three, four, five. Nice long one there. Do I have some tweezers? Yes, I do. Let's get these down here. We'll have a look at those in a minute. And then um, there's nothing going on with that core, just a standard five pinner. And then let's go in this way and see what we get. So they felt like standards, but are they standard with tapers on? I don't know. They could just be all standard pins and it could just be uh, me oversetting something a lot. Oh, come back you. Mm, a, a bit marked but nothing special so far. All seems to be standard. So maybe it's just my picking. Oh, come back. Wherever they are, they want to escape pretty badly. And the last pin as well, some of those springs. All right, let's have a look, let's get those out. So they look all pretty standard. I'll look at them in a bit closer detail as well. 
um, just to see what they look like. There's no mastering in here. Um, and I can't see anything too bad. Uh, I mean, the, there's a lot of striations and stripes on these pins. So let's have a look at one of these, for example, which m could mean that it feels a little bit gritty, but it's certainly not tapered. Not great quality, though, is it? Sometimes the lower quality locks, they do feel weird. Let's have a look. It could have some mild tapering on the key pins. That might have been the problem, but it's very, very subtle. I would like to... Uh... Yeah, no, not convinced. Um, so I don't know why it's cons in a little bit feeling inconsistent. I think it could just be um, dirt, age, maybe poor manufacturing, or a lack of skill from me. Hard to say. Anyway, that is a little sentry lock. Hope you liked it. If you did, leave a like. If you've got a comment about this lock or have one, let me know below. And of course, if you haven't subscribed, please consider subscribing because it really helps me out. And I'll see you all next time.